far behind. Remember you and I would always find somewhere to hide when we were kids, so we could see and hear the water run. River's gonna cry when you're gone. Good morning, guys. Welcome back to another episode. Today we are at one of Megan's favorite places in Queensland. Favorite places in Australia. Favorite I'm places so in excited. To I thought Karajani was your favorite place. I said you said one of the yeah. favorite places. <laughs> so we spent the night at Big Crystal Creek Campground last night and we finally got ourselves up for sunrise and visited Paradise Pool down the road this morning. And there was nobody there. Nobody there. So good. And today we're actually going to one of my favorite places which I'm so excited to share. But we're having granola today. It's been a bit of a hit lately at the Jack and Megan household. But we've been really naughty because we've been having our breakfast and we've been watching Stranger Things on Netflix and it is taking up too much of our time. It's taking up so much of your Brain I'm waking well. up thinking about it. It's terrible. We're but, about uh, five years late to the party, but we're on the Stranger <laughs> Things train now. <laughs> on the train. But anyway, we're not going to bore you with Stranger Things. We'll, uh, we'll see you at the next spot because it's a bagger. Alrighty, we can hear people screaming down there. I just heard someone go down a slide. <laughs> Classic. We had a very slow start this morning. That bloody show, I'm telling you. But uh, anyway, we're on our way to the slides now. Megan is very excited. I'm very excited. The last time we came here, on the way back, I said to the camera, I said, this is paradise. Look at that. I wonder if there's any turtles in there this time. There's turtles in this one last time. Look how clear the water is. Well, we've come up. <laughs> there was too many people where we were. There was four people. There was too many for us. <laughs> that's, that's three too many. <laughs> it's four too many. So we've come up. We didn't come this way last no, time. We came oh up on top of the slide and it's incredible. <laughs> Look what we got, baby, all to ourselves. I reckon that would hurt your bum. Yeah, I don't think this is a slide. I think it's just Look a over there. pool. But, oh my gosh, it's so painful. Alrighty, we're venturing. I need to take my pants off. <laughs> take your pants. I'm gonna slip. <laughs> We're venturing further and further, and there is just nobody around. Oh, have a look at this. The water is freezing. See, this is what we didn't do last time on the trip. We didn't venture on. I don't know why. Maybe we're just anxious and didn't know. Or, but this is paying off this time. <laughs> it's really slippery. <laughs> Megan slipped. We have a slipper. It's freezing, eh? Very <laughs> Let's keep going. Let's see how far we can go, eh? All right, we've uh, we've ventured on about 300 meters more, and uh, Megan is struggling <laughs> over there. <laughs> and uh, we think we've just found our own private slide. Have a look. Right there. And this is pretty much like the end of all these infinity pools. It just keeps going and going and going up to this big one, which looks to be the end of it. We just wait for Megan. She's taking her time. <laughs> hey, careful. That is wicked, eh? So cool. How good is it? I love it. <laughs> I didn't think this place could get better, but it just It did. just got better. <laughs> it's wicked just adventuring up here. And look at that. It probably keeps going, to be honest. Probably keeps going up there. It's going to be a good day. I can feel it. Can you feel it? <laughs> the good day. I didn't realise we would be adventuring so far and I left the GoPro all the way back there. So Banana. Oh well. Oh well. Let's let's get on this slide. Eh? <laughs> See if we can hurt our bum. Oh, oh my god, it's like ice. <laughs> like tiny little knives all over my body. Here she goes. Megan's the uh, test pilot. <laughs> Well, it's just a slide. <laughs> Here she goes. <laughs> She's been pushed down. God help your bum. Her smile on her face is massive. It will be when you go down it. Yeah. <laughs> Count to three and just go. 
Count to three and just go. One, two, three. Count to three and just go. Count to three. One, two, three. <laughs> Is it good? <laughs> All right, I'm going in. not just to enjoy it but because we get to really take our time and get some amazing photos which I think we've just got oh god don't slip don't slip but I still want to go to the popular one just because I want to go down the slide one more time and you guys can come with me this time Alrighty, we've stopped at this little fruit stall here. How good is it? Someone at the campsite actually recommended to stop here because they sell, what did they say they sold, Megan? I can't remember what the name of the actual fruit is, but it's a fruit and it tastes like chocolate. It might be that there. Go check that one out. I just seen this bag of leaves here. I thought it was a bag of something else. <laughs> Heaps of pineapples. Black. Oh, this one here, Megan. What is it? That one there. Ah. Interesting. Oh, yeah. Grab one of them. We'll yeah. definitely get one of them. Do you want to buy a rooster? A rooster? Roosters for sale. Oh, I thought it was like a nickname for pineapples. <laughs> Feeling a little bit more adventurous after our cliff climb this morning. And we're going to pull so in here. <laughs> we're pulling in. There's only a sign that says no camping. It doesn't say anything about no entering. Entering. I hope no one's down here. We're going to score twice today. We're actually going to score, score twice. Wow, there's no one down here. There's no one here. Oh, guys. How good is this? Oh, place? it still looks so beautiful. Oh, my God. Look down there. All right, we're going to park up and we're going to have some lunch. Some fruit a, salad. A fruity lunch. we eat our fruit have a look at this setup oh my god it, it's all to ourselves it's pretty much so beautiful. It's I, can't believe how clear the water is. I can't believe we didn't adventure this much last time well, we didn't adventure at all we just went to the signed places yeah the tourist places and that's it so what's first on the menu anyway well, i want to try this but we don't know anything about this fruit i think so it's not ripe just cut it in half well, cause this is the chocolate one, by the way. Yeah, yeah. No, nah, that's wrong. I looked at pictures on Google. Cut that one in half. I think it might be ripe in the middle. Oh. I hope. Because, yeah, we don't know how to pick the right fruit of fruit. Oh, I think we stuffed it up. Just it's not, taste it. No, nah, it's not ripe. Yeah, but just get it taste. No, nah, if you saw the pictures on Google, <laughs> you know that that's not right. Is it supposed to be all chocolate It's colour? meant to be a car like a caramel. Nah, it, it, nah it's wrong. <laughs> It's not right. I think we we're meant to leave it to ripe. <laughs> Does not taste like chocolate. Nah, that's all right. That's not happening. Next on the list. Uh, Damn, we'll mandarin. just put it in the fridge and we'll see. Mandarin. We'll see how it goes later. All right, it doesn't. It doesn't even smell like chocolate. At least we know what we're doing with a mandarin. We know how to eat that properly. Yeah. Look at that pineapple, Megan. Oh my god. See, I told you I know how to pick them. What better fruit to eat? In Queensland. I know, right? <laughs> Feels like we're in Bali. It does a bit.
Well, we came back. May or may not have eaten the entire pineapple, so <laughs> we came back for another one. Sorry, I interrupted you. You're right. Um, the owner's here, and she told us. Lucky we came back. Yeah. So this here, the chocolate thing, I need to wait two more days until it goes completely black inside, like the colour of my shirt. And she said, cut it open and put it with a bit of yogurt. We've got coconut yogurt, and she said it is to die for. So that's waiting another, maybe tomorrow we we'll that. And then she points, good seller. She had the sweetest oranges she's ever tasted. So two of them, and we've got another pineapple because <laughs> it was just delicious. It was eh? so good. We and couldn't it, stop eating it. Yeah. Once we started, we couldn't stop. We have had a very chill day, but believe it or not, we are going to work today. Yeah, we are. Kind of. So we're going to take photos of this hip camp down the road. Yeah. Uh, so yeah, a little job for this afternoon, but that should be good. Looks like we're having a time, well, we are having a time of our life. Yeah. <laughs> First thing on the agenda, or well, actually first thing around here. That's hairspray. Are you kidding me? Did you just spray what? hairspray? <laughs> Megan thought this was AeroGuard and she sprayed it all over her body, but it's hairspray. Oh my God. That is actually hilarious. That's so embarrassing. Maybe you really do need that banana. <laughs> I, I, I really do need some AeroGuard though. Classic. <laughs> They're both blue, I swear. All right, she's got the real arrow guard. I thought I was a bit stickier than usual. Classic. That's so funny. All right, what's the plan here? Um. Oh, that stink. Oh, yep, ew, what is that? definitely arrow guard. What's that noise you're making? Okay, bit of a fuel up, and then we got to go, we need to take a few photos of the campsite. Of, of the setup. It looks wicked. We found some, found some fire. Fire. We found some wood, I mean. Do you say I found some fire? Yeah. We really, we, we had too much sun today. We're losing it. Uh, a few photos of the amenities. Yeah. And then I think we'll walk down. I think the stream comes down there, so we'll get some photos of that as well. Yeah. And I think that's it. We need 15 photos. Yeah. Look at this campground, by the way. It's beautiful. It's amazing. All right, we're having uh, curry tonight at the Jack and Megan household. we got the fire going. Hopefully it starts cranking soon because it doesn't look like it is. But we're having we're having this curry we got from Woolies, and it's called Pun, Punjabi chickpea masala. I've been reading a lot today, haven't I? <laughs> <laughs> Punjabi chickpea masala, but we're having it with bassa, uh, bassa fish. So, how do you feel about that? Yeah, good. We got some veggies, broccoli, carrots. Hopefully, it can do like a double serve. So everything here in Queensland is just bigger. Look how big this carrot is. But, uh, <laughs> oh, this says serves two to three, so hey? maybe, maybe it won't do double. Oh, oh well, doesn't Let's matter. We I reckon it's going to taste glorious. Mm -hmm. Anyway, we've uh, got seven of our 15 photos down that we need to take, um, but I reckon that's earned us no, a couple we're gonna episodes. Try, we're going to try and get to 10 before we start the Netflix, thank you. No. Nah. Seven's enough. Stranger things it is. Oh, we've earned been, it, mate. You're the boss, eh? Mate, we've been adventuring today. We've done all kinds of stuff. We can watch. I want to watch. <laughs> That's all I've been thinking about. It's so it's bad, eh? So bad. So bad. curry has worked out magnificently the fish tastes like crab you know that blue crab you catch in the river oh well, i don't know actually know where else you can catch it but we catch it in the swan river in perth and it tastes like that the bassa i can't believe it eh? Catches crab a kilo a lot more than eight dollars yeah we just buy bassa guys <laughs> have a look at it it looks bad on camera <laughs> But look at it that. kind of looks like dog food on camera. <laughs> it looks so bad. But there you go, Megan. Hey, right, because you've been a hard worker today, you get your <laughs> you get your food. Get my slop. <laughs> you get your slop. There you go. Thank you. Look at that, mate. A stranger things is ready to go. Mm -hmm. Have a try of the bassa. Let us know what you think. Wait, oh, there it is. It looks crabby. That's hot. Moment of truth. It's good, eh? 
It's so good. All right, press play, mate. I'm coming in. Good morning, guys. We uh, we had a good sleep last night. A bit of scruffling. What's the word? Scruffling. <laughs> Scrummaging around in the bush in the bush here. <laughs> You're just uh, making up words. <laughs> it, I think it was like little possums or something. But the turkeys always freak me out here because yeah, I. Well, I think I just need to get used to them again because I forget that there are turkeys everywhere and yeah. I just see these black figures out of the corner of my eye and I'm like, oh my God, what is that? And then they'll work out that you're watching them and they'll just go <laughs> and then, then you just see this black figure running across and you're like, what the hell was that? Normally, when we leave our campsites, we will show you guys, we'll run a bit of video over the top of us pulling the tent down and driving off, but today we're doing something different. I'm going to show you, I've decided to get Megan to pull the tent down because she doesn't normally do it. You don't normally do it, eh? No. And there's a reason for that, because it's not easy to pull down. If it doesn't have weight on the top, it's, it's hard. So Megan's gonna show you guys how it's done this morning. Aren't you? Yeah. <laughs> All right, here we go. Take it away. <laughs> so what I'll normally do is I'll get it to a point where it can't go up and it can't go down. There's like a point there on the gas struts. Have you found it? Mm-hmm. It looks like it's going up to me. That's <laughs> yeah, fine. And then I'll slap the canvas in like you've done. Ow! You actually made it look easy. Yeah, actually machine. It's those big muscles, mate. Mm-hmm. And then this is the problem we have with our tents. Our latches are broken. Oh, oh no. Oh, no. Rookie mistake. My bad. Oh, there you go. Yeah, they're broken, so they they pop out. If you hit a bump or anything, if, if you hit oh, a... Oh, even just that. Yeah, it just popped. That. If you hit a bump or anything on the road, they'll just go bang. And uh, we've been waiting for those clips for five months. <laughs> so I think, I think they're coming from South Africa, but it is what it is. I should probably give uh, Iron Man a call. But anyway, we're continuing on. I, uh, I actually don't know where Megan's taking us today. We made it down to the waterfall, well up to the waterfall. It's a long drive up a big hill. We made it. Have a look at this. Megan's gone down for a bit of a photo opportunity. We'll put that on the screen now. Hey! Megan wants to go stick her head under it, she says. But we've come up a bit further at the waterfall, so we got this one here. And then you can come down here and have a look at it. Got one, two, three infinity pools. Awesome. How was it, Megan? So good. <laughs> oh, it's freezing, but it's, it's amazing. I forgot a towel, though. We weren't planning on going in. Well, I was like 50-50, and then as soon as I saw it, I feel like if you have the opportunity to dunk your head under a waterfall, you should do it. <laughs> so, we don't actually know where we're sleeping tonight. No. Done a little wiki camp thing. Uh, there's a few free camps on the coast. Yeah. One of them we already checked out and it wasn't on the coast at all. It was sort of on a swamp with all the danger crocodile signs and things. So Which Megan not. said she would sleep in. Uh, sleep in. Which Megan said she would swim in. I just said the water was a very nice colour and it would be nice to swim in if there was no crocodiles there. But <laughs> hey, there's crocodiles. There would be crocodiles in that water. So we've only got one more that we can really check out that does look promising, but I guess we'll see when it's we get them. And stay tuned as well because this bad boy is ripe <laughs> and it is, it is not very appetizing. It's <laughs> disgusting, but I'm going to try it. Okay, so we found a home for the night. We were a little bit iffy coming in because I don't think we've ever camped somewhere that's half a, a car, car park. park and yeah it's just one little <laughs> camping area but we're right on the beach and this is actually the first time we've seen the beach since south australia so really exciting and sunset it's completely different mm -hmm. from western australia and south australia just yeah. walking down onto the beach is a completely different feeling yeah 
it's time to try our chocolate. I forgot what it's called. Bring it in close, Megan. Right. Have a look. You're doing it wrong. How did she say to do it? You just cut the the top off. Cut the top off? Yeah, like that. Oh. Oh man, look at that. Whoa. Oh. Holy moly. You go that. first since um I look spat that. mine out yesterday. Uh oh, that's crazy. So far, it smells just like fruit. It tastes like chocolate. No way. It legitimately tastes like chocolate. Really? So I'm going to cook inside tonight. I know I shouldn't, but I just don't feel comfortable cooking outside in an area like this. So I'm going to cook some fried rice up and we're going to go enjoy the sunset, I reckon, mm -hmm. on the coast. Because we haven't done that for a very long time, have we? So it feels good to be back on the coast. Alright, we made it down to the beach for uh, sunset. We kind of missed it. Well, it oh, went behind the clouds. Behind the clouds, but, <laughs> but still beautiful. What's more beautiful than the sunset is those islands in the background. Yeah. It is incredible. Do you think that's Magnetic Island? Or, I think we're near, near there. There's islands everywhere. It's yeah. incredible. We're in tropical paradise right now. There's coconuts everywhere. We'll probably go try and score a coconut and have it with tomorrow's breakfast with pineapples. Oh, we just wanted to share a little something about that place with the bridge. It holds a very, very special place, not only for me, but Megan more. Yeah. Well, the whole national park, not just the part with the bridge, but yeah. the place with the water slides. I, had, at the time when we visited last year, I was just hit with such insane gratitude, gratitude. that we were there. And I'd never really experienced that before. I don't know if it's because we were getting into all of the podcasts and things, yeah. but I don't know. It was just such a good feeling. and I. I remember that. Because I couldn't... The f whole beginning of the lap, I think I was just waiting for something to go wrong. Yeah, but it wasn't going to. Because I think a lot of <laughs> things did go wrong in the lead up. Yeah. So that was just like the first moment that I just allowed myself to be happy for Relax. where I was and just, yeah, just so grateful. And, and, and today now we're, back. we're able to come <laughs> back to such an amazing place and even call it work. So, yeah, so it's, it's incredible. Just nuts. We're very, very thankful and uh, I guess we have to say thank you to you guys as well. Absolutely. We just want to say a huge thank you and we're just we're actually gonna end the video there. Yeah. <laughs> we'll see you on the next one. Uh, we don't know where we're going. We never know where we're going. We never know where we're going. <laughs> so don't forget to subscribe guys, thanks for watching. <laughs> <laughs> oh here we go. Look at that. Fresh coconut mate. Straight off the beach. Who knows how long it's been there for? <laughs> Man, that is nice. Yeah. Wait till you try it. Look at that. It's incredible. It's the nicest thing I've ever tasted. I think you're just hungry. Oh. Turn the camera off. Settle down. <laughs>